Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, two trains are moving in the same direction at 50 km per hour and 30 km per hour. The faster train crosses a man in the slower train in 18 seconds. Find the length of the faster train. So what's the given question? There are two trains and these two trains are moving in the same direction. The speeds are 50 km per hour and 30 km per hour. And it's seen that the faster train is crossing a man in the slower train in 18 seconds. So the time taken by the faster train in order to cross the slower, slower train is 18 seconds. A man in slower train. A man sitting in the slower train. The faster train is crossing a man sitting in the slower train and the time taken is 18 seconds. So we have to find out the length of the faster train. So one train is fast and one train is slow and the speeds of the train are also given. And the time taken by the faster train to cross a man sitting in the slower train is given that is 18 seconds and we have to find the length of the faster train. In these type of questions the main point to note is that what is the distance travelled. From the question given we have to find out what is the distance travelled. So that is the key point here. Here we can see that the faster train is crossing a man in the slower train. So a man in the slower train means the tra slower train is remaining constant. The slower train is indeed moving but here a man in the slower train that is the question here. So that means the distance travelled will be equal to the length of the faster train. The faster train has to cross a stationary object. It is same like that a man in the slower train. The man in the slower train is remaining like this remaining in a particular position uh, it is also moving only we, are, we have to consider the relative speed here because both the trains are moving but this will be similar to that of a train crossing a stationary object we can say like that because a reference is given a man in the slower train so the distance traveled will be equal to the length of the faster train so that is the main point here even though both the trains are moving you should not add the lengths of the two trains as the distance travelled. The previous questions was the previous video. So there we added the lengths of the two trains in order to find out the distance travelled. But here the question is different. Here a reference is given a man sitting in the slower train. So we can say here the distance travelled is equal to the length of the faster train or the distance travelled in 18 seconds that is the main point here the distance travelled in 18 seconds is equal to length of the faster train so that is the time taken for crossing a man in the slower train a reference is given so we have to find out the distance travelled by the so it is given that the distance travelled by the faster train in 18 seconds is equal to the length of the faster train. The faster train is moving like this. Faster train is moving a man sitting in the slower train. So that the faster the train has to cross fully. The train has to cross fully the man and the time taken is 18 seconds. So the distance travelled is the length of this train. Okay. So think logically or you just try to imagine a man is sitting in the slower train. The another train is coming and it has to cross the man fully. So what is the distance travelled and the time taken is given 18 seconds. So within this 18 seconds what is the distance travelled it will be the length of the train crossing. In this case it is the length of the faster train. Now we can write down the formula for distance. What is distance? Distance is equal to time into speed. So what is time? Time is given. Time is equal to 18 seconds. There are no issues in that. And what is speed? We have to consider the relative speed here. Both the trains are moving. The train is not remaining constant. Both the trains are moving. So you have to find out the relative speed. Relative speed and they are moving in the same direction. So when two trains are moving in the same direction, what is the relative speed? You have to consider the difference of the speed. So 50 minus 30, 20 km. 20 km per hour into 5 by 18 meter per second. So this will be the speed. So what is the distance? Distance will be equal to 18 seconds into 20 into 5 by 18 which gives you 100 meter. 
so that means the length of the faster train is equal to 100 meter thank you for watching the question number two two trains are moving on two parallel tracks but in opposite directions arun sitting in the train moving at 80 km per hour passes the second train in 18 seconds if the length of the second train is 1000 meter find its speed so what is the given question here it is given that two trains are moving and they are moving on two parallel tracks and they are moving in opposite directions and the speed of one train is given the speed of one train is equal to 80 km per hour and this train is moving Arun, Arun sitting in this train is passing the second train in 18 seconds and length of the second train is also given it is 1000 meter we have to find out the speed of second train speed of one train is given and uh, Arun sitting in the first train is passing the second train in 18 seconds and length of the second train is also given you have to find out the speed of second train so here what is the scenario Arun is sitting in the first train and Arun is passing the second train Arun sitting in the first train is passing the second train in 18 seconds so here is the second train Arun is sitting in the first train okay so this is the first train and uh, this first train is passing the second train so this is second train so it has to pass or it has to cross a second train fully in 18 seconds so what is the distance traveled here here the distance traveled will be equal to the length of the second train Arun who is a reference the reference point is Arun here he is sitting in the first train and he is crossing the second train in 18 seconds so he has to cross the second train fully so here the distance traveled will be equal to the length of the second train so that is the only point here you have to find out the distance traveled correctly by ima imagining the scenario so what is crossing what here the first train is crossing the second train fully the time taken for crossing is given so that time taken is to cross there the distance traveled is equal to length of the second train so once you practice this kind of questions it will come automatically during your exams so don't worry much it's pretty simple you just have to imagine the scenario what is happening i don't sitting in the first train and he is crossing the second train fully in 18 seconds so here the distance traveled will be equal to the length of the second train another thing is the questions won't be asked in a much complicated manner here the length of the second train is given so obviously it should be the distance traveled otherwise we cannot proceed with this kind for, uh, with this question so then you have you have to just verify whether it is correct or not whether the distance traveled is indeed equal to the length of the second train you just need to verify that is the only thing here so here the distance traveled will be equal to 1000 meter what is distance distance is equal to speed into time and what is speed here both the trains are moving so you have to take the relative speed and both are moving in the opposite directions so you have to add the speed let the speed of the second train be equal to x so you'll be getting it as x plus 80 into 5 by 18 will give you the speed in meter per second and what is the time taken 18 seconds so x plus 80 into 5 by 18 into 18 so what you will be getting this 18 and 18 will be getting cancelled so 1000 is equal to 5x plus 80 into 5 is equal to 4000 so you will be getting 5x plus 400 sorry ok so 5x is equal to 1000 minus 400 is equal to 600 so your x will be equal to 120 and what is this 120 120 will be the speed given in kilometer per hour here you are taking here you are adding x plus 80 80 is in kilometer per hour so x also will be in kilometer per hour and you are taking in common multiplying with 5 by 18 to convert it into meter per second so what you got here is in kilometer per hour only that is another point you have to note here you are adding x plus 80 that is how you have written the formula so if you are adding means x should be of the same unit as that of 80 so it is kilometer per hour so the speed of the second train is equal to 120 kilometer per hour thank you for watching